So today we got a really, really special day going on today. So we're hiking the shade areas today. We're up on ridge tops, but we're walking in the shade all the time. It's a beautiful sunny day. We got some cloud cover now and again, but uh, it's uh, a magnificent day to be hiking. And I have some really, really outstanding outcomes here today. This is Ark. This is a Jamtund. And uh, the Jamtund is out of Sweden. And uh, that's where they originated. I brought his mother over from Finland, Anya. And he is uh, the first uh, Jamtund born in Canada. And a uh, magnificent big fella. He's just over a year little more than a year maybe and uh, beautiful big fella just rock star so I got him up here helping me train this other phenomenal female she's a Norwegian now count Brava and I got grandma Tora Tora's the grandmother to Brava Brava come come drop good you guys need my radio Brava, come by me. Brava, come. Now, Brava is about 10 weeks old. She's a Norwegian Elkhorn, one of the very best I've ever raised. This is an extremely good dog. Now, I haven't said her name the whole hike hardly, other than to tell her how good she was doing. She has been trucking with me the whole day here. And uh, unbelievable. Now, it helps because Ark is working his left and right training today. So he's on the lead. He's on a long lead here with me. So it really keys her in to hang within a very short distance. And uh, I, I haven't been able to get more than three photos because she's only about three feet behind me the whole day. She hasn't went ahead. So I can't uh, hardly get a photo. Tora is a, is a ten and a half year old female I raised. So I sat with all three of these when they were born. Tora is the mother to Kai. Kai is the mother to Brava. Leaf is the father to Brava. Pretty boy Leaf. Now, this is an amazing little female. Just the stoutest, thickest, pow most powerful little female you've ever seen. This girl is pounding up hills like you wouldn't believe it, boy. She's got all that big power of Tora. And Leaf is no slouch either, and neither is Kai. But uh, this dog here, she pulls way back to her great-grandmother, Mia. And uh, an awesome, awesome dog, that Brava. Oh, my goodness. So we're doing our uh, Desna training today. Now, on the Desna work, I use big dogs for the little guys to model. But quite honestly, that dog is so smart. If I didn't have any threat situations, I could just come out here with Just so that uh, we don't have to have her put him up a tree, I, I, I bring Ark. Just not that he would bother us at all, but it's she would want to tree him right away. And it's uh, it's just best if her and I just walk on by. And Ark will show her how to do that, so it's good. She's a working dog, so she understands how to deal with threats. She's quite the, quite the outcome, that girl. What do you think of her, Ark? Hey, eh? Come here, buddy. Come over here. Come back right here. Right there. There's my boy. Huh? That was my big buddy. Now, Ark is my buddy, let me tell you. He's a magnificent fella. I had Mon train Ark, so Ark is extremely good. Ark is uh, very keen, though. He's a hunting machine. So he's a little harder for me to work off lead. I have to be on him because he wants to go hunt. But on lead, boy, he's something else. What a magnificent fella. He's got manners. He's polite. He's super smart. He's intelligent. He knows his left, right. Um, he, he's having a little trouble today. I always want him on my left side. And... Uh, Unless we're in full shade, he's taking the shade. So if the shade happens to be on my right, he's going there. 
so I'm watching where I'm heading of course now as soon as the cloud cover cover comes out and we're in full shade well we're okay he, he, all dogs of double coat dogs like to run in shade and if there is only shade on your right side he's gonna move sides now uh, where did my little brava go come brava Brava, come by me. Come on, girl. Come by me. That's my girl. Jump up. Jump up. Oh, there's my big girl. That's my big girl. Now, this is a rock star, this girl. I'm telling you. Now, I've been training dogs all the time, straight through for many, many years. And uh, this Desna training program is so beneficial for some of these dogs. Now, not everybody needs it, uh, but some families want to have that dog well set up. And in this case, uh, Daphna and Adam, they wanted that that pup set up because they do a lot of outdoor work. And uh, they're, uh, they're confident that we can set her up properly. And, and I, of course I can. But this pup here, they could have taken her. She's that smart. But it's nice for me to set her up, and uh, this dog will integrate right into their family so well. She's so handler focused that uh, hard to believe, really. But very intelligent in the bush too. Very, very intelligent. Now I'll be doing more training with uh, with Grandma Tora, and I'll be training with uh, Mon, Tecla, Luna, and a few others because uh, I like to give them a little bit of a broad range of, of uh, um, different skill sets. And each dog has a few different skill sets. Ark and Mon, if Ark's on the lead, he's just like Mon. Now Mon, of course, is like this off lead. But um, Ark has a desire to go. And we were just over some tracks over there, and they were like, had to been like 15 minutes old because he was all over him and wanted to go so I'm glad I had the lead on him because I don't have his GPS collar on Tora you come say hi Tora you come and say hello tell your grandma to get up here come on Tora we're doing a video here Tora Tora. Get up. Tora, right by me here. Right here, Tora. Way to go, Tora. Oh, my girl, Tora. I've hiked a lot of miles with Tora, so I cut her a fair bit of slack. She's trained a lot of pups. And the ones she's trained, of course, are some of the very best in the world. Tora herself had 34 magnificent pups. <laughs> All the best. And this granddaughter of hers is really something. Oh my goodness. And this girl loves me. Oh my. And I love her. What a good dog. Oh my goodness. We're not going yet, you guys. Ark. 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 Hey. Right by me here, buddy. Say hello. How's my big boy? Now the Swedish Elkhound is a very old breed. So is the Norwegian Elkhound. These are two of the best specimens you'll ever see in your life. These two of their respective breeds. Uh, there's few dogs that will equal Ark in the world and there's few that will e equal her in the world. Uh, we, did, we just happened to luck out and have two of the best out here in the world today. This is uh, pretty cool. And of course there's hardly anybody will ever match Tora. So it's uh, it's a, a pretty good day to be hiking, I'll tell you, when you got dogs of this caliber. Now, this dog has the quietest quiet, and he has a little more intense intense. So uh, they're very, very nice to be around kids, around family, around that sort of thing, and they're exceptional in this wilderness hiking. Now they can fit any environment, of course, 
but this dog requires a bit more work than that dog. That dog can get exercised in a shorter period of time than this guy. Now this dog here, I have to hustle. So I walk at a much faster gait with Ark, and uh, Bra Brava's had to hustle, but she's so tough that nothing to her. She can handle it. I mean, uh, a little pup might have uh, had to stop and rest, not her. She can just power along. She's like Taurus. She's got endless stamina. But Ark, you see, his stride is quite a bit longer. And so I can take a full stride, and I can walk fast, and I can keep moving. And uh, he's very, very good. Now, he knows pull, don't pull, all of those things. Now, Ark is very territorial for his yard, and he's very, very protective of his pack. And he believes everybody's his pack, especially the pups, and most importantly, his sisters. He's got four of them back in the yard. Now, if we have a stray male come in, or a new male, even one of our own boys that have come back for breeding, and I'll use Loki as an example. Loki's a big, full tilt, big fella. And uh, when he came, he, uh, he was just having a little bit of fun and stuff, but he barked at our sisters through the fence, and they were barking at him first, of course, they barked at him. And so, uh, our Ark saw that. They barked at Loki, and Loki barked back, and Ark saw Loki bark back. Well, I'll tell you what, he didn't appreciate Loki barking at his sister, so they, uh, they had some face time there for a little bit. <laughs> Two big boys. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, he's very, very good at looking after his stuff. And he gives Tico a hard time yet, and, but he's got manners, and he pays attention. I tell him, Enough, he just stops, he's good, and so is Loki, of course, they're both good, nothing happened, but I'll tell you what, uh, if crossbred mutt came in and I told Ark to send him home, he'd send him home, all right, <laughs> sore butt and all, yeah, Ark is a good boy that way, yeah, he's really, really good. Now, for a young lady that's in good shape, that wants to hike in remote terrain, and you want to run a dog on lead and uh, have a dog that's absolutely got your back. This is a magnificent dog. A uh, young guy wants to hunt with this dog. It's an extremely good hunting dog. Now, you need a good GPS and all those things. But uh, for, for this kind of work that uh, we do out here, just, you know, hiking and training pups and working through remote terrain where there's threats all the time, magnificent dog. I, I just think these are the best. Now we have his mother going to cycle this fall. And uh, she's going to have another litter of these magnificent dogs with the same father, Rico. And Russ and Beth have done an outstanding job with Rico. He's incredible. We have a brand new female, Varela. Her name is Varela. We're bringing her in from Finland. Satu is coming in about a month. And she's bringing Possel, a new male, for all of our sisters. And she's bringing me a brand new Norwegian elk hound male as well named Karu. And he's coming in for some of my females that I'm holding back right now. And so it's a really, really fun time. All them pups will be four or five months when they come, just right around the four month mark. So they're all born, they're all there, they're magnificent. So they're coming in to help us expand this uh, Swedish Alcon line. And the Norwegian Alcon line, of course. All out of extreme hunting champions. Very, very, very good dogs. So yeah, I wanted to get up here today with Ark and have Brava come up. And uh, she's really been working out good. I've been working with her on the lower elevations and building her stamina and building her capabilities and today I thought, oh, we'll follow the shade and come up. And so we started early and just followed the shade. We were just over at the water and uh, th this is an outstanding uh, pup, this dog. Now I've got, I've got three litters coming. Uh, three females are bred now. Tika. A sister to the mother of this dog is bred. She's going to be in in about 10 days, I think. And Tekla, a half-sister to the mother of Brava, is also bred. And Phoenix, 
uh, just got bred as well. Phoenix is a, a daughter of Tora's brother Jaeger. And she just got bred to pretty boy Leaf. Tecla's bred to Dogger, a half brother to Tora, and uh, Tika's bred to pretty boy Leaf. So the same father as this dog is bred to both Tika and Phoenix. So basically this exact dog is coming out again. And unbelievable. I've been sending these guys home this last little stretch here just steady. It's just been uh, one great couple coming for dog after another. It's quite profound the quality of people we have. And awesome homes that are, these dogs are going to. And we're so proud of our people that uh, for providing these awesome homes. It's unbelievable really. So uh, we, we really have fun. I've, I've been putting uh, photos in an album for the last like three weeks and videos and everything. I haven't had time to get them up. But I'm loading them up now. I got a couple days here and I'm loading them up. But I got to work these pups in the daylight too. So we'll be doing another video tonight probably with Silver Novas. I got Jaeger and Silver Novas pups heading out in the bush. And uh, we're doing some low elevation hikes with them. Oh man, they are some unbelievable. And of course I got two of Vida's back there. So Ven and his sister are there. We'll be uh, getting those boys, uh, those two out. But uh, Silver Novas are slated for tonight. So yeah, I wanted to put these, uh, take, well I needed to break, but so did Brava. I mean, we had that push pretty hard. So she was content to take a break. I can see that she's ready to rock again. But what a magnificent female. Oh my goodness, what a good girl. Eh? You're my buddy. You're my buddy. That's my girl. What a good girl. Hey, Ark. What do you think, buddy? Huh? This is pretty incredible, these two, hey? Pretty incredible. These are two of the very best Norwegian or Norwegian and Swedish outcomes there is. And Tora is right in there. But Tora, she's busy checking for rodents. They are. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. Come on, brother. Come say hello. Don't eat my radio. What? 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 What, brother? Good girl. What? Or, quit. Leave my radio. Yo guys are good. Yo guys are good. These are personable dogs, boy. They love the handler. <laughs> Adam and Dafta, oh, they have a good dog covered. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Very, very cool. So yeah, it'll be fun. All right, you guys. That's pretty good video. That's pretty good video. Wait a Come by me. What, you guys? Man, you guys are good. I never seen anything like you guys.